Dude, what the hell? Look at this. What in the hell? Is that, wait, is this what normal bases in uh, Rust look like nowadays? That's crazy. Looks like uh, Mad Max. It's pretty sick, not gonna lie, look at this. That's pretty sick, no? What's a good comparison for a base you... This is usually the bases you see, just like a boring, you know, Tower of Sauron looking thing. And then you got this. This makes it feel like rust. So, wait, so which one is better? Is this one better or this one? Which one is better? The tower? The overwrought? The Mad Max one is better? This, this is the superior base right here. This is the superior base. Oh, yeah, yeah, no windows, right? That's a very good point. This one has no windows. This one has... It's like a minimalistic. It's a minimalistic approach. Man, I like this base. When I think of rust, like what it should be, this is what I think of just like uh, it looks like kind of makeshift makeshift even though there's a like a uh, is this perfectly symmetrical look at this that's crazy nice voice crack in the morning is this perfectly symmetrical what in the hell this has to be from a guide somewhere no one made this on their own no one made this on their own no this is definitely from a it's a youtuber base yeah no one made this on their own like oh let me make this base this is like uh, they watched the tutorial for sure look at this it's perfectly symmetrical yeah this is what I think of when I uh, open rust I think of like boring bases like this. Wait, this one is pretty creative too. What the hell? I'm gonna look at these bases for a second. There's a lot of uh, variety. A lot of people are doing the uh, the bowl thing. Is that a common thing nowadays? The the bowl formation? No. If I look at these bases, I'm thinking rust is improving because uh, look look at the variety between the bases. You got this one, this one, and then uh, the other one over there, like the Mad Max one. I just want to look at bases right now. What the hell? Are these all from guides? Or are people actually thinking these up? It's an interesting uh, little shack. What the hell? Look at this. A lot of people doing the bowl formation. <laughs> Here, this is what I think of when I uh, think of rust. Just fucking square and then mix of stone and metal. Like this. What the hell? Hey, wait a minute. This is almost the same one, no? Oh, this is for, uh, so people can't build. Dude, all these bases are different. This, when I played this three years ago, or how long was it? I don't remember. All the bases look the same. All boring. Wow, this one sucks. Oh, wait, because it's broken down, right? It's destroyed. You know what's funny? I, uh, played this game for a long time. Let's see how many hours I have. I've played this game for 1,300 hours, and I don't even know how to do the blueprint stuff with the weapons. Like how to make a weapon? <laughs> I just spent everything on trolling the shit out of people. <laughs> I don't even know the basics. I have no idea how to do the whole blueprint thing. <laughs> it's like the bare basics of the game, right? Like knowing how to craft a gun. I don't, e I don't even know how to do that. A lot of hours though, 1300. I think most of that was uh, Rust Admin. Okay, this one is just straight up ugly. I'm sorry. The fuck is this? We're gonna do some base ratings today. This one I give a four or maybe a three. Yeah, even this sucks. Very dangerous. What the hell? Oh, it's look, it's so bad, it's already falling apart. It's so terrible, it's falling apart. Even the base itself wants to die. This, this is what I think of when I, uh, I don't know, five years ago with Rust. You think of a base that looks like this. This guy running his own farm, or...? What the hell? This guy has to be autistic. Look at this. Just a bunch of windmills, small shack, and then a shit ton of wires in the house. That's autism. Yeah, this one is pretty boring too. This is what I remember Rust bases to look like. Like, just made out of iron. Just one big tower. 